Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben Strange with another in the series. Well, just got back from Florida. Was gone for almost a week. Uh, went down to Gainesville and did a presentation at the Cade Museum on Edison talking machines. Anyway, while I was there, I picked up a bunch of junky old Mark stuff at a uh, thrift shop, junk shop, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, some gondolas missing lots and lots of parts. And uh, I'm adding four-wheel trucks to this gondola. And I'm using trucks that originally had uh, tilt couplers. So I just uh, snapped the flange off where the coupler, where the tilt coupler mounted. And I'm going to be using plastic knuckle couplers, as you see. Now, I'm going to be mounting this, of course, with paper joiners. These are really, really simple to use. It's really... Uh, inexpensive. It's almost instant. So I've cut the uh, paper joiner off and the shorter you cut these the stiffer they get. So when you bend them they stay bent. So I'm just going to drop this into the hole in the gondola as you see. I'm going to drop on a four-wheel truck that's been modified like I said. Drop on a coupler and add a small washer. Hard to do this with one hand. Alright, so we'll hold everything nice and snug in line and spread open this paper joiner as you see and then just bend the tabs down. Like I said, the shorter you cut them, the uh, stiffer they get. And so you can uh, put these things on there with a screwdriver and really bend these things and get them really, really snug. So I'm pushing up with my finger on the paper joiner and then just bend these tabs open, as you see. It's really simple to do this. You can really get these things snug as you see, instant repair. It works, it works really well, they look good, and this is going to run, of course, virtually forever. So you've added the coupler on either end, and you've added the uh, truck itself just by using these paper joiners. It's really simple to do this. As you see, it only takes a minute. These things are really, really cheap. You get 70 of them for a dollar. Um, you can find them at uh, almost any office supply store. Goodwill, or Goodwill. Walmart has them uh, in their school supplies. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. As you can see how simple this is, and it leaves a nice uh, finished effect. It's not perfect, uh, but it works, and that'll last virtually forever. As you can see, I just uh, put the joiners on them and then bent them, <coughs> bent them open and nothing is going to pull these things off here and yet you can remove them virtually instantly just bend them straight up take them off you can uh, replace them with a screw if you want to but the nice thing about this of course is it works it, it's really really in, inexpensive you don't have a don't have to have a rivet setter you don't have to have a nut and a bolt or a uh, sheet metal screw anything like that you can just put these things through the hole, bend them open, and your car is repaired. And in this case, I bought a bunch of this stuff really, really cheap in the same condition. And uh, the trucks were shot, uh, just uh, missing on three of them. But anyway, I got them really cheap. And I just wanted to do a quick video on how to do this. As you see, it leaves a nice finished effect. This thing's absolutely filthy. I haven't cleaned it up at all. But I just wanted to do a quick video on how to do this. It's really simple. It works. It costs almost nothing. It'll last virtually forever. And uh, best, you can get it up and running in just a matter of a few seconds without having to go out and buy nuts and bolts and lock washers. And uh, The problem with putting a, a screw and a nut uh, through these is as they vibrate, a nut always gets loose unless you epoxy it or if you put two nuts on it to keep it tight uh, or use a, a nylock. Nylock nut is 60 cents. This costs nothing. It's never going to come out by itself. But if you want to take it off, of course, it's virtually instant. You just bend these things up, take them off, and your trucks are removed. 
But in this case, uh, you've mounted the truck and the coupler with a paper joiner. It costs almost nothing. It's virtually instant. Best of all, of course, is the fact that it works. So I just want to do a quick video on this. These paper joiners are great. They work. They're really, really inexpensive. Uh, you don't need any tools to do it. Like I said, I did cut them shorter because the shorter you cut them, the stiffer they get. And uh, the stiffer they are, the uh, tighter bend you can make in them. But as you can see, it's really simple. It's really, really quick. Best of all, of course, is the fact that it works. It works absolutely perfectly. So I just want to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.